Jacqueline. Welcome to Dreams of Music and Makeup, or welcome back here if you are a loyal subscriber of this channel. Either way, I'm glad to see you. Consider subscribing if you are new around here. I do post two beauty videos every week, and I'd love to have you along for them. Click that bell next to the subscribe button to stay updated on all those new uploads. I would hate for you to miss something. As always, leave those requests for new content in the comments down below. I love giving you guys what you want to see, and the more you guys talk to me, the better informed I am to do that for you. Let's go ahead and dive into the content of this video. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is just me letting you know when there's a deal, because I'm all about deals. At Walgreens right now, they're doing a mix and match across brands. I do know that they're not including Wet n Wild, but they're doing a mix and match for cosmetics and nail polishes and that sort of thing that are buy two, get the third free. Of course, it's the least valuable of the three things that you'll get complimentary, but still, if you're already picking up two items anyway, that's what I ended up doing. I had picked two items and then one Wet n Wild item, which didn't qualify, so I went and grabbed something else so I wouldn't leave without something for free. I'm not someone who typically enjoys liquid lipsticks. However, someone I work with recommended this to me. She is always wearing beautiful liquid lipsticks and they wear so well on her. She swears by this liquid suede formula. So I thought we would give this a go. I do have a little bit of balm on underneath. Trusty Lano Lips 101 Multi Balm in the strawberry scent. I was gonna say flavor. Please don't eat lanolin, it's not for that. That should help kind of lock in some moisture for my lips, hopefully. I have very dry lips, that's why I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks. They tend to draw a lot of attention to that. A lot off a little bit of that balm. <laughs> I figured we would do a wear test for this today because I do work today. I also need to eat lunch before I head to work. It's approaching 1 p.m. I figured this would be a good time to test this. Soft Spoken, which is shade number four. Ooh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. That is pretty. I didn't have to redip or anything. Looks like it covered really evenly, nothing too crazy. And I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a few minutes, and then I will check back in with you guys and give you my updated thoughts for the moment. It's been about 20 or 25 minutes. I feel like this is kind of dried down. I don't think this is going to be transfer resistant because I do have a balm on underneath it. Yeah, definitely not transfer resistant. We're still fully opaque everywhere, but this will wear off a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some lunch, and then I will check in with you guys with the aftermath and see how it kind of held up, see if we need to reapply before I head into work. I am closing tonight, so our final check-in will be without any natural lighting. I apologize for the color discrepancy. I make it as lifelike as I can. Just so that you are aware, for that check-in, it will be a little bit different. I'm gonna go stuff my face, carefully but I'm, I'm gonna go eat and then I'll see you in a bit. Do you have a rating? No? She's gonna pass on rating this lipstick. Just checking in for you guys. I just ate my lunch. I ate some chicken nuggets. I managed to keep most of my lipstick on, so it has faded around the center. Let me get up close so you can see. It has faded. So you can see my natural lip color peeking through. I am gonna go ahead and remove this just so I can go and brush my teeth without getting that all over my toothbrush. Then I will reapply it so that I can wear this for my work day. It's about an hour until I start work, but I don't plan on eating anything else. I'm just sipping on my water as usual. I'm going to take this off, brush my teeth, reapply it. I will see you guys after work. I will have one meal while I'm at work because I am there so late. We'll see how this holds up, and if I have to reapply it because I look like a crazy person, I will definitely let you guys know. I'm not going to let it completely wear off or anything, but I will keep you guys posted. Darcy's 
Lexi had to do the check-in with us this evening. I just got home from work, so she needed to be with me. I hope you all understand. We are looking at how many hours of wear now? Seven and a half hours of wear on this lip color. I did top up just in the center after I ate my dinner around 5.30, 6 o'clock. I did top up just a little bit in the center because it had faded a little bit from me eating and I didn't want to look weird to clients that I had in the evening. I have noticed that it has faded significantly around the edges. So there is some overall fading going on. I'm really glad you guys can't see me any better than you can right now because this foundation does not look good after this many hours. It's been probably more like 10 hours with this foundation. For the record, I am wearing a mixture of colors of the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion foundation today. I did set with a powder and a setting spray, but unfortunately this guy is just not doing so great. It's really breaking up through here and kind of looking weird. Just a side note, that is not what we're testing out today. I'm really happy with how this lip held up. It's only just now starting to get a little bit of that white line, which at seven plus hours, I'm really okay with. That's a doable amount of time. This is not a transfer resistant lip product in my experience. That being said, I do have particularly dry lips and I did put balm on underneath this when I applied it. That being said, you might have a different experience if you don't need that step. I really enjoy how well this lip color wears. This formula does really well. I'm pretty impressed with it. I wouldn't necessarily go with any darker shades just because it doesn't fully dry down to a matte finish that's budge proof. That's what I would prefer in a darker color personally just because I don't want to have to worry about it. I think this is a really nice lip product. If you're looking for something that's going to be long wearing but not necessarily completely transfer resistant or completely matte. It does get pretty matte as the little bit of shine wears down, but I just think this is a great lip color. I'm not much of a liquid lipstick person, but this one has got a fan in me as it stands right now. This was a first impression, so I will continue to wear this lipstick, and if my findings change, I will update you guys in that description box down below. So definitely keep your eye out if you are watching this video, especially late. I may have some differing opinions down there, so go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you back here, and I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. Keep dreaming. I'll see you in my next video.